again, I lean back, though, and I get my hands back here. But I, I remember, oh, you're supposed to lean forward and fall. So put, your, put the face on my, no, no, on my hands. On my hands. And I'm going to try to push forward. Got nothing here. Why? Because my arms are so far back that I am in the irons. Now, on the other hand, if I do this correctly, slightly the ball, keep the arms out in front of me. They start to press. Whenever you're ready. I'm waiting. Let me know when you're pushing. Okay, the point being. I'm going to turn this around. Uh, I'm asking. So, everyone saw that with the elbows and the leaning back, that that's not good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Steve to do this the proper way. And I'm going to try, first of all, with my fingers. Yeah, this isn't happening. Okay. So, but now I'm going to press with my hands. Or, or, or come or Actually, drop, drop it low. Yes, resist. And try again. That's the The energy, what we think about is we're looking on this push. Anybody who has ever had a car, a friend's car, that got stuck in the snow or the mud, you don't stand like this to push the car. If you get down, this rear leg, pushing into the ground, drawing that energy up, touching the rear bumper, and just coming forward to the wrong thing. Maybe not. Nice, fluid, more efficient use of the energy. Um, has anybody here ever done push hands? Okay, so with push hands, what is push hands about? It's helping, it's not your opponent, it's your partner. You are exploring one another's energy fields, whether it's coming through on single hand, two hand, but there's the movement forward and back where you're exchanging and exploring one another with energies. The energy in Grass Bird's Tail, we use four of those energies. Pour it off. Roll back. Press. Push. And if you want to have a really good workout, try doing continuously for five minutes breast bird's tail. And if you're not out of breath and really starting to be sweating more than Marty was here today, you're really in very, very good shape. You're really relaxed to be able to properly do that at the energy. Now, we have the four energies, and obviously the Young family really likes grass bird's tail because in the traditional form, we do it about 12 times, which is, it, it's, it says a lot. The only, the only thing I think that we do more than uh, grass bird's tail is when we do brush knee push palm with right side, left side. But the, the other multifaceted movement that I want to talk a little bit about so you can begin to appreciate the energy is Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain. Would anybody here care to explain to me where this tiger is that we're embracing and carrying him back to the mountain? Or are we just embracing the tiger and going back to the mountain? I personally, even Tony the tiger, I don't want to be embracing. Tigers are big animals. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're not to be trifled with. So, we come into a baby tiger. I've never held a baby tiger. I have had the occasion to hold and bottle feed a baby lion. And i got to tell you, I wouldn't want to mess with them either. I mean, you see the little, little baby right here. 
I mean, you could feel that, yeah, that, that there was some energy there that I did not want to interact with. It's like feeding a kangaroo. Or boxing with a kangaroo. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, Embrace Tiger Return to Mountains. Towards the close, it's the transition where cross hands, left arm on the inside, shift weight to the right foot, pivot on the left heel, extend the right hand, sink weight into the left foot, stepping back, coming forward, strike the side of the right hand, weight back, roll back, press, if you've never done this before, you might say, okay, you're calling this something brand new, but this is all something I've done before. Yep, we're going through. This is brush new, push and pull. And then pull down, press, push. Yes, we're combining two movements. And this is another one. If you want to go through and get a good workout, and both of these, by the way, you're getting this wonderful internal massage. Uh, I, I would say definitely before you're going to have uh, the, uh, you know, the family meal, with, whether it's the, uh, the Big Mac family meal or the uh, Burger King double whopper with cheese, all this good grease, you need to go through and get your gallbladder working. So I would say definitely Steve's warm-ups would be a good start. And then go through and do grass bird's tail. Push. Embrace Tiger Return to Mountain. Clear. Palm. Strike the side of the right hand. Pull down. Press. are getting such a wonderful internal massage, liver, gallbladder, spleen, and with this turning motion, as Yong Jin Do says, all movement in Tai Chi is directed by the waist. Stop and think about it, it's that lower back. I'm really not moving my arms a lot from here. My favorite move in all of Tai Chi. Wave hands like clouds. I, I will just do this as a standing meditation. Or when I'm sitting in traffic and not a blessed car is moving for whatever reason. The first time I ever did this, my wife said, Stop doing that. Somebody's going to think you're crazy. <laughs> and I said, and you know what? I bet nobody comes over and says, we're going to be here in the office. <laughs> it's all, it's, it's the waist. There's a little bit of shoulder movement, a little bit of arm movement. But it's so good. You're getting this nice internal massage. You're getting the energies. There is a variation. When Marty was going through and doing the demonstration before on a number of those moves, where he's trying to go through it and show how when the person's choking you, you go, that, that's pretty much a variation on cloud hands, wave hands like clouds. Different styles. And, and your style, Steve, how, how, how do you do wave hands like clouds? We do it like that. Okay. Up the middle, turning your waist as far as it goes. Yep. 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 This is a wonderful warm up. It's a wonderful physical activity to engage in because it's, I personally find it very, very relaxing <coughs> because it's a nice movement, waist, easy movement. <laughs> tai Chi should be fun. The one thing that I, that I would go through and maybe quibble ever so slightly with Steve is people say, well, you know, you're telling me this is a martial art. If I was ever in a fight and moved this slowly, the other person would kill me. Yeah, you're right, they would. Well, why do you do it so slowly then? 
If I was a coach with four-year-old kids coaching them at T-ball, I'm not going to get the Phillies' best pitcher to come in here and throw 90 mile an hour fastballs to them. You want them to go through and have confidence to be able to. And I've yet to hear a baseball coach with the little ones say this, but guess what? It's the bat. With the tiny ball that really puts the power into what you do. Don't learn Tai Chi for what you're doing in the classroom. Do Tai Chi for how you can apply it to everyday activities of your life. And I personally think you'll be a lot better off that way. So I know it's been a long day. You can only pour so much water into the cup until it starts to overflow. I don't want to make the ground muddy here, so I will say. Tong Shui Shui Shui, students, thank you. And Tong Shui Zai Jen, not Dry Jen, Zai Jen, students, goodbye. Thank you all so much for coming and thank you for listening. Thank you.